is a, a little shed that I have that I'm, this is the 30th of December and I've started the onions for the demonstration garden in these containers. I've got a top that helps keep the moisture in to help them germinate. And this uh, shed that I'm in stays around 60 degrees and then I've got the windows that I can place it in. This one, I started these about uh, three days ago, and this one, the Red Mountain Red Onions, are already starting to germinate. And these are Walla Wallas. I planted 200 seeds, and I just barely covered them with the uh, sifted potting mix. And uh, so I'm hoping they will germinate quickly, and then they'll be ready to plant in... March in the demonstration garden. Uh, I use this sifter to sift some of the larger stuff out of the uh, potting mix, make sure that I don't have a bunch of sticks and stuff in it. So we'll check on these in another week and see how they're doing. And that's it for now. Well, it's been about uh, seven, eight days. It's now the 5th of uh, January, 2023. Let's take a look at these onions and see how they're doing. This is the Walla Wallas. And let's take the cover off. And wow, looks great. Looks like we got uh, maybe 70% germination rate. And they're growing great. Let's look at the reds this is the red onions and they're looking good too maybe a little bit less germination rate maybe 60 percent but they're doing great so we'll hopefully uh look at them again i didn't say that uh, i'd put them on a heating mat they have a heating mat that they sit on so uh, we'll check again in uh, a week or two and see how it's going. Well, it's time to check on these onions again. It's uh, now January uh, 12th, and uh, I just pulled it down. We've had the cover off for sure four or five days, and it's time to give them a haircut. This is what they're looking like, and uh, I don't know if I can hold this and show you, but I'm just going to trim off the tops there and go around and do that on all of them and then uh, put it back. I've installed some lights now so that uh, the sun hasn't been out at all and they'll get too long and stringy without the lights. It'll help them develop better roots. And also I'm going to start to give them a little bit of uh, fertilizer as I water them, very dilute fertilizer. So that's where we're at and going to finish the haircut. Thank you. Check back later. So this is what they look like after their haircut. Well, it's been about another three weeks since uh, we last checked these onions. This is, I moved them out to a little greenhouse and it was about five by 10 and uh, started heating it. This is what uh, they're looking like now. This is the reds. You can see they're putting on a little bit of a bulb. And uh, this is the Walla Wallas. And they're doing quite well too. I've given them two more haircuts, cut them off uh, the tops to put energy into the roots. Then a week and a half ago, I started another tray of candy onions. And these are just uh, got their first haircut. And uh, that's what they're looking like. So they're doing uh, really well. I'll put them back under the lights here. And then uh, also I've started a uh, colobri. 
kohlrabi uh, about uh, two days ago that uh, hopefully it'll sprout here in another five or six days and we'll plant those in the demo garden <clears throat> let's go back and uh, look and I also did some uh, cabbage and broccoli and cauliflower to start in the demo garden so let's go back and look at those you can see I pruned my fruit trees I've got quite a few fruit trees this is a nice plum tree and here's my some of my raised beds and it's starting to warm up now I just actually uh, dug a few small little carrots but the ground is still frozen so it still needs to warm up and another two or three weeks you would be able to plant the peas and and uh, a lot of other things so I'm gonna walk back over where we started the onions and you can see now I've got these cabbages started. This is uh, broccoli, a big tray of broccoli. Uh, it's uh, six by nine, so 54 broccolis. This is uh, two different kinds of cauliflowers, a cauliflower twister and a cauliflower amazing, 54 of them. This is Fargo cabbage, 54 of them. And they're doing quite well. This is red cabbage. It's hit, germination wasn't very good, so I just redid some. And those are all going to go into the demonstration garden. So it's pretty easy to start these. Uh, just similar process, except these are ones that I've put in little uh, individual slots for the cabbage. Hey, that's all for now. I'll check back in in about two or three weeks when we're going to plant some of that uh, uh, onions outside. It's now the 9th of March. We're ready to try to put these onions out into the demo garden. It's going to be a little cool, but I think if we... And this is the cabbage, red cabbage. And Fargo cabbage and broccoli and uh, kind of a mixture over here. I'm going to hold off on the cauliflower. So we'll be planting these this morning and I'll take some videos showing you. This is the red onions, this is the walla wallas, and this is the candy onions that we started back the last of December. Now everything's loaded and ready to go to the demo garden. So, we're ready to plant. Okay, we're ready to plant these in the demo garden. He's separated these out easy into the different ones. And then he's, we're just putting them in. We don't put them deep at all. And then we put them about uh, four inches or five inches apart. And uh, these are the candies. And then we'll be doing the doing the others the same way. So we've got about uh, close to 500 plants to put in for our onion crop. Okay, it's now June 21st in the demonstration garden, and we've been following these onions since we planted them from seed to where we planted them in the demo garden. And now it's about time to harvest. So why don't you focus in on some of these onions here and just show them that uh, we're about ready to harvest. Maybe you can go around on the other side and look at some of them. Yeah, come over here and look at these. Look at this guy. So let's harvest one and show you how good they are. And these are some of the walla wallas. 
so we'll be harvesting some of those today and uh, taking them to the food bank, local food bank. So that's our onions. Now down here, the red ones are planted, but the red ones take a little bit longer. You can see the red one here. It just takes a little bit longer for them. So we had, uh, if you remember, we had Walla Wallas, candy onions, and the red onions. So we're harvesting some of the Walla Wallas today that have been in about 170 days. And here's a few that we've pulled up beside this. She can come over and show you some of the Walla Wallas. Hey. Thank you for watching and finding out how to start onions from seed to transplanting to harvest. Thank you much.